Good evening. Welcome to my laboratory. This once again is the my version of the wireless jewel thief. I took a little bit more care with the antenna, and I put uh, a little bit more capacitance in there across that 56 nanofarad. I think that's a three nanofarad. So let's call it 60 nanofarads of total capacitance. And I've just made the antenna stable with some sticky tape and uh, those two modifications have allowed me to get quite a bit further apart. Remember where my hand was in there before? Uh, now we are at the antennas are 26 centimeters apart. Okay, and uh, we've got the nice 5 volt regulated output. The actual voltage that the thing is putting out is probably substantially more than that, but the regulator is regulating that down to 5 volts. And uh, that's, uh, that is like that. Okay. And so uh, the, uh, the receiver module, let me just turn off the transmitter over here. The receiver is just... this. Okay, and of course the antenna. Uh, so here we have that uh, 56 nanofarad capacitor. All right, and across it in series are a fast recovery diode and a 100 microfarad 50 volt capacitor and then at the appropriate points of that is a 7805 voltage regulator input center lead is common which would be the other side of the capacitor and output plus 5 volts and then of course the negative plus 5 volts is coming from the common junction there of the diode anode and the negative side of the capacitor and the common lead of the voltage regulator. So that's the minus output and that's the plus output and then the antenna simply goes across and the antenna and any tuning capacitors go right across these two leads here and so that's what I've, what I've done. I just take that and I plug it back into the back into the circuit board. That's negative. There's the other antenna lead there. That's positive. And then we turn it on. And there you go. A wireless jewel thief. And quite a bit of distance between the transmitter and the receiver. Thank you for watching.